Hello, my name is Natalie Dodd and I teach the over 60s contemporary on a Thursday morning at 10.30 at The Place. Uh, today I'm going to do with you a little bit of a warm-up sequence that we might do towards the beginning of my class. And uh, as we go through, just listen to your body, take water when you need, pause if you need, repeat if you need, and, and enjoy. So, we start with the feet lined up underneath the hips and we're going to roll the head and the upper back around from right to left. We drop right, we roll to the left. We reverse it, three and four. We reach five, that palm is to the front. I bring this hand past my face and it's gonna pull me up, all the way to upright by seven. You fly forwards through a flat back, eight, one, by two, I've got a fully relaxed spine and head. I'm gonna have a look up towards the front. You see along the floor towards me, and then you have a look back down. So sideways on, a little bit of a kind of snake up with the spine, the head, crown of the head leaving that, and then snaking back down, nice and small, okay? Four more times. So, making sure at this beginning bit we keep hold of the pelvis and the core. We're not gonna let it um, hinge backwards, it's gonna stay exactly as it is, so it won't feel huge, this beginning movement, but keep it um, nice and contained, and we're just trying to find as much uh, space in that upper back curve as possible. We roll, one, two, reverse it, three, four, open that shoulder, five, lifting, six, and seven, flying forwards, eight, one, two, looking up, on three, look down, on four, bend the knees one at a time, we go right, then left, okay? So you've got one knee at a time, and we're really whoa, whoa, dropping down to that plie, heavy head for me. From there, I need you to roll up. We coordinate the legs and the spine and the knees just arrive straight as the head arrives back on top of the spine. So that's your first little section. I'm gonna go for the next one and then we're gonna recap. So we've got a reach around. We're almost trying to find the uh, space behind us, but try to resist letting the hips twist. We find that space, we look to it, we gather the space to the side of us and we find our curve. And this is more of a middle back curve, this one. I'm on a plie, and I've got the head completing that C shape. And I want the tailbone to be towards the floor, otherwise this becomes a very different thing, okay? So just keep that nice and neutral. So, reaching, one, curving, two. You uncurl through the spine and bring that arm straight down, three. We're gonna pad the feet outwards. You're gonna press through like there's something spongy, marshmallowy on the floor. Out, out. Make sure this stays parallel, toes and knees to me. You pad in, in, that's a quicker one. Stay with the knees nice and soft. We drop the body forwards from the chest. Seven, good. From there, everything expands out. Head leads out to the front, tailbone leads out to the back. Hands expand us out to the sides. We find that flat back place. Now it's gonna be different for everyone, depending on your hamstrings, but just make sure that wherever you are, we don't fly away forwards or back. We don't fly away up or down. Okay, so completely shoulder height with that and uh, try not to drop the head. We feel that line from the crown of the head to our tailbone. Let's go from the beginning, and then I put on the little ending. Rolling the upper back, one, uh, two, reverse it, three, four, reaching five, bring it up, six, seven, flying forwards, eight, one, relax on two, looking up on three, down on four, bend right, left, rolling up six, and seven, and eight, reach behind one, curve two, lift it up, we pad out, and out, in, in, drop the body, seven, expand to a flat back, on one, keep going, get the two, you're going to initiate from your belly button. You're going to imagine that someone's gone poked you in the belly button. That's going to initiate your curl up. The arms relax. The head finds uh, its upright position by six. We rise and seven. Squeeze the heels down. Eight. We start the left side. You've got to roll for two counts. We roll for two counts. We lift. That hand comes past the face. It brings us up. We reach all the way down. Relax over the legs. If you need to bend the knees at any point instead of keeping them straight, please feel free to do that, of course. We're here, we look up on three, down on four. This time we bend left, then right, rolling up six, and seven, and eight. We reach one, 
and two, up on three, padding left and right, left, right, yeah, so that goes out, out, away from the central point, and then you pad back in. We drop the body on seven, expand to the flat back, don't fly away. By two, belly button three, relax the head and arms, get there, six, rising seven, lower eight. We have eight counts to transition to first position. Somewhere that feels comfortable and not a wobbly place, keep the heels close together. And then, that's all the same, you'll have me to follow, it's exactly the same sequence. And then we have eight counts to transition into second position, turned out second. Now obviously here, uh, let's have a think, we roll, we roll, we reach, we bring it up, we fly forwards, we have a little look up, snake the head, up and down, we bend a bit more with a deliberate shift of weight here side to side, you roll up through the spine, this is all the same, it's mostly should feel pretty similar, but now we're already out, so we're going to pad the feet into first position, see that I'm pointing the foot each time, point, point to the plie, we drop in the open position, we find the flat back in the open position, belly button initiates, and we rise in second. We do that on the other side, and then to complete the whole thing, we'll have a bit of a, a balance in that second position on the last time that we do it, and you can just follow me. We're going to do it with some music, both sides in parallel, both sides in first position, both sides in second, and like I said, if you need to rewind and have a little another go at it before we give it a proper go, then please do. Okay, here we go. Reach 
the arms out, energy in the fingers, rotate those elbows, don't let them drop. Shoulders down, chin is lifted, eyes are focusing. Drop the arms, lower those heels, relax, yes. All right, well done everyone. Thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed it and please do join us for our online classes at the place.